my name is Shinobu Sean. Today we are continuing our Halloween month with Alan Wake. Yes, I've been waiting for this one too. Um, I want to try to get through this one as soon as I can. I know Alan Wake is going to come out. So I got that on top of Spider-Man 2. I got to play both of them. I know they both will be here. But, without any further ado, this is Alan Wake. I've never played it before, so... Hey, don't judge me, okay? I don't know about playing it on nightmare mode right now. I don't even know what to expect from this game. So we gonna we gonna hit it with the normal. I'd never go easy. We don't do that over here. That nightmares exist outside of logic, and there's little fun to be had in explanations. They're antithetical to the poetry of fear. In a horror story, the victim keeps asking why, but there can be no explanation, and there shouldn't be one. The unanswered mystery is what stays with us the longest, and is what we'll remember in the end. My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. always had a vivid imagination, but this dream unsettled me. It was wild and dark and weird, even by my standards. So yes, it began with a dream. It was all a dream! Following a typical nightmare pattern, I was late, desperately trying to reach my destination, a lighthouse. For some urgent reason, I couldn't remember. I'd been driving too fast down a coastal road to get there. actually a dream or did this actually happen though no. it was dead I was convinced they put me in jail and I would never see Alice again I'm guessing Alice is our girl oh, he's gone um okay I it's giving me um It's giving me uh, Silent Hill vibes. Yeah. I could hardly stand my feet. Okay, so we have checkpoints. No. I like it this way. Okay, that's how we sprint. This is an interesting I perspective. The lighthouse. I knew there was something important waiting for me there. Okay, so we're making our way to the lighthouse. Oh, my man got a whole. Oh! You recognize me, do you, Ryder? You think you're gone? Oh! Oh! Oh, bro, these controls are so wonky. How old is this game? How do I get in, though? Oh -ho! I realized that the hitchhiker was a character from the story I've been working on. How did 
does it feel to die by the hands of your oppression? What? Oh! Bro, why can't you sprint any faster? My man. My man. Oh, we gotta get it out of here. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> All I know is we got our fictional characters trying to kill us. Oh! My man's running super slow. Body. We gonna get in. Oh no! Stop! No! Damn it! Die! No. Oh, he had a gun. Watching me? Is that is that what you're trying? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay. Cabin was a death trap. I had to get out. How do I get out? I'm getting injured. You ain't told me how to get out though. Follow the light. Follow the you want me to jump. You are hurt. You should go in the light. You are only safe there. Okay, so we have safe haven areas. Well done. I have something important to tell you. It goes like this. For he did not know. That beyond the lake he called home lies a deeper, darker ocean dream, where waves are both wilder and more serene. To its ports I've been. To its ports I've been. Do you understand? I don't understand. Follow my life. Sir, you gonna give me some stare? Okay. Uh, apparently he's magic. So, you know, we, we getting stares like that. I ain't gonna question it. So we press square, reload the button, triangle for the flashlight. I will give you back your dream now. In the nightmare, a terrible darkness was taking over the world. The lighthouse was the last safe place on Earth. I'm not gonna lie, I don't. Yeah, get oh my man oh, okay my man is still here this 
Oh! Oh! Yeah, what you gonna do now? What you gonna do now, huh? You ain't gonna do nothing now. Okay. Oh! Oh! They hit me with a three-piece comp. Woo! My man, why you bugging? All I want to do is get to the lighthouse. Okay. Okay. Bro, why does, why does this man walk so slow? We ain't got no charge in our battery. I think I got Oh I ain't got no more time Oh He gon' give me Yeah Yeah We made it We made it Alan wet okay. It's interesting. Right. Anything more than dozed off would be news for everyone. Interesting. Cheer up, handsome. We're here. The moment that I go, I mean, the moment I wake up and I'm in a place where I literally had a nightmare about and a fictional characters, my book, I mean, my books are trying to kill me and stuff like that. I'm like, nah, I don't want a vacation here no more. We can turn around. Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman. I want a shot of you with the town in the background. You want a shot of sure. me? Sure. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Right. Why that man? You got a problem with me? You picked a good time to visit our town. Your fest is just two weeks away. Why oh, my You're man right, tilted huh? his head did like that? Honey? He just... Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. If you don't mind me saying... Bro, we about to fight. What you say? What do you mean by that? Yeah, I'm Alan White. You trying to hit on my wife? I won't pretend I don't recognize.
as a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader. Honey, myself. you better get this man. Get this man. I'm the night host of the local radio station. Any chance to meet him? You just hit on my wife. I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me, Pete. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. This man trying to set us up. I don't like the look on this man. This man turned around and was like, Hey, you have a beautiful wife. Nah, nah, sir. Keep that energy over there. You lucky I ain't got my flashlight and my weapon, sir. No friend. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. How's my favorite writer? Are you there yet? Very. Yeah. We just got it. Are the locals giving you trouble? Just say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry. We're fine. Great. Great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Barry, we're just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. And you call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. I'm just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I, love I should you just stand there in the background like that. You know he's going to be calling you every five minutes. Barry is Barry. I can always turn off the phone. What did I tell you? Text message from Barry. It says hi to you, too. Bro, we didn't even park yet. You can tell this game old. Mr. Carl Stuckey. He's waiting for us. You can tell this game old. We literally you get the key. I'll pick you up here in say fifteen minutes. Sure. took it out of the window and to keep it here well okay Good right point. that's that's giving stalker vibes right there i don't roll with that um try the coffee just don't blame me when you fall in love because it'll break your heart when you have to leave rusty here is no longer human nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin yeah that makes two of us do me a favor sonny I could really use a tune right now. Coconut, number six in the jukebox. I'd do it myself, but both of my legs have gone to sleep. Bad circulation. Yeah. Are you serious? Coconut again? I'm just going ahead and take that thermal. Disgust me. Call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. <laughs> I use the jukebox. You put the lime in the coconut, drink them both up. Just because Bro, this man ain't just Don't stuck. think I won't yeah. murder you, you in your sleep. This man ain't drinking no coffee. Yes, that's my favorite tune. Coconut. Now that's what I'm talking about. This man is on something different. He ain't drinking no coffee. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. Does that say apple juice? There ain't no way that man drinking apple juice. <laughs> what am I playing? 
I'm invested though. I'm here for it. Okay, we can't go up in here. So we gotta go here. You good? Sir. Bro, I don't like the way you looking at this hallway like that. I think I can handle it. Oh, okay, it's a it's an old lady. Stucky to get the key and get out as soon as possible. The waitress was giving me a headache. Uber eager fans always did. Oh, okay. Hello. Watch the man be dead. Mr. Stucky? Did not tell y'all. Instructions on how to get to the lake. Okay. I wish you a good stay in my cabin. I'll come by later to check how you settled in. Please don't. And to meet your wife. I am this is a second person. Thanks. This is a second person who was just all of a sudden intrigued by this man's wife. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Very inspiring. Yeah, no, I'm good. We can go home right now. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This really ought to be fixed. Even that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? <laughs> Sir, I'm... The Andersons, they're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Interesting. Bye, Mr. Wade. Yeah, it wasn't pleasant meeting none of you. Mission accomplished. The key and the directions. My hero. Watch this not even be the actual lake that he's supposed to go to, or the cabin that he's supposed to go to. Hey, wait! Mrs. Wait! Your... Your keys! I told y'all. I told you. Bro, they setting us up. Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. Bro, I ain't getting no home. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in two years, not since my last book. I mean, you got writer's block. Everybody goes through, you know, fatigue, especially being a creative. Um, it doesn't even, well, it doesn't even have to be creative. It could be like just regular work. It's something, all right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. And I've got the flashlight. I know. I'm okay. Alice had a phobia. The fear of darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights on before sunset. Bro, you brought her to the wrong place then. You, you had that bad dream. some bull already I can already tell watch it be like jump scare or something like that I know you're lying y'all gave us the the cabin looked like a time capsule from the 60s or even earlier
oppressive feel of the nightmare I had seen on the ferry returned. Y yeah. Yeah, you've been set up, bro. I needed to get the power running in the cabin. There had to be a fuse box or a generator somewhere on the island. Okay. Alright, let me stop messing around with that. We gotta let that recharge. Um... You just believe anybody? I'd be like, nah, I need, I need receipts. I need to know you actually with my man because the near best guests have already started to arrive. Power on. old generator had been connected to the power cable. Oh, it's going to be one of these. Yeah, I'm pretty sure later later on down the line, it's going to be some mess where it's going to just speed up. You're going to have to be quiet. The lights are on. Good work, honey. I'll freshen up a bit and start settling in. Okay. I'll look around a bit. Shoot me. Have fun. The island once been the site for a love. It was a beautiful place. I told myself I could rest here, sleep here, and forget about my work. I thought we could be happy here. You thought wrong, bro. Maybe it would be that again. You didn't get the receipts. You didn't get the receipts, bro. You didn't check across your T's and dot your I's. And why do we Alice? have these doors open? Honey? Alan, I'm upstairs. I have a surprise for you. She got that lingerie on. Okay. She trying to make... No, I'm just <laughs> steady. Go take a look. Okay. She trying to. What you trying to do, girl? What you trying to do, girl? What you trying to. Where are we supposed to be going to? Oh, over here. Go to the study. Where's the study at? What you trying to do, girl? Oh, okay. Surprise! So I'm pretty sure these are gonna be like checkpoints. I guess I have a small confession to make. I thought maybe you could write here that a change of scenery would get you past. Dad, Alice, you, everyone. Hey, hey, hey! Hey, yeah. There's a local doctor, Doctor Hartman. I read a book of his. He has a private clinic here. He specializes in helping artists. Maybe so now you want to get me committed? No, it's not like that. That's not... Alan? Alan? I don't, just don't. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Okay. God damn it. I knew 
she wouldn't follow me in the dark. I needed some time alone to think things through. I don't like I don't know already. Yeah, he, he didn't have to disrespect this girl like that. He didn't have to disrespect this girl like that. All she was trying to do was look. You are being a complete douchebag, and now she's kidnapped. Cabin had gone dark. All the lights were out. The next day. Yeah, we gotta go save Alice, our girl. I'm coming. It's all right. I'm coming. No! Oh. Yeah. What the hell? Yeah, y'all playing. Are they coming back? They trying to spin the block on me? We starting off like this already, y'all. We really are. Oh no. Keep going, Alice. Wake up. Alice. This give me some Silent Hill vibes right here. This is giving real Silent Hill vibes, y'all, and I'm kind of here for it. But do y'all think that we actually made it to the um the cabin, or I mean, we gonna find out? But or do you think we just crashed here? What the heck is going on? station was my best bet. They'd have a phone I could use. It looked like a long hike through the forest to get there. Bro, they set me up. They set me up. Damn. Oh, yeah, we ain't got no more car. How we don't have a flashlight no more? Why y'all keep on taking this flashlight away from us? Maybe we never had one to begin with. Hello? Hello? Someone there? The loose sheets of paper were pages from a manuscript entitled Departure. That was the name I planned to use for the next novel I had never gotten started. I was named the author. I hadn't written it. I couldn't remember writing it. In the scene on the page, the hero was attacked by an axe murderer in the woods at night. You have found a manuscript page. You can access them whenever Okay. So the man turned to face me. His face was covered in shadows. It was hard to make him out in the darkness of the forest that surrounded us. But the axe he lifted was plain to see. It glistened with the blood of his victim. He grinned madly. The shadows were alive, distorting his features. It was a scene from a nightmare. But I was awake. Interesting. So it's almost like we're living our, um, I just, I just noticed something. 
do we have okay yeah subtitles are enabled good what is video commentary I will look that I'm gonna look that up for next time because if it helps out a little bit then yeah why not anybody there please I've been in an accident y'all we got set up up ahead were a good sign. Maybe I wouldn't have to hike all the way down to the gas station to find a phone. What is this? Can't grab none of this. Alright, I guess we're going up. Trust him. Cabins for rent in Oh hell. Carl Stucky. Pleased to meet you. Non representing reservation deposit required. My man tweaking. to go. Where are we supposed to go? Oh, maybe this way? Yeah. Okay, so we got another page of the manuscript. Oh, okay. Not that way. I had to figure a way out of this. Any second now, and Stucky would be knocking on the door with his axe like Nicholson in The Shining. Love the reference. What else can we get? Your Revolver ammo. Okay. Trying your It's the latest. Yes. Oh, what is going on? Oh, I guess we going. Okay, where do we go, though? Not gonna worry about that. 
We're not gonna worry about that right now. We just gonna keep it pushing, all right? The dark forest was the last place I wanted to go, but I had no choice. I had to get to the gas station. Okay, so light points the way, and we ain't got no more. The graffiti was revealed by my flashlight. Someone had hidden a chest of supplies near it. Pick that up, yes, sir. We got that for there again. Um, are we supposed to? I hope I don't mess this up. Was I supposed to shoot that up? I think I messed up, y'all. Uh, <laughs> y'all got another one? No? Yeah. Bro, I think. Oh, we're screwed. We're screwed. I messed up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Now we gotta wait for that to recharge. I'm pretty sure I could have. <gasps> Ooh. And we got. There we go. Check everywhere. Got another piece of the manuscript. Nothing else. All right. What was I gonna say? Yeah, this game is giving very much uh, Silent Hill vibes. I don't know why I'd never saw this game before. I've heard of it, but. Oh. What the hell was that? Nothing that we want to find out. When I saw the river below, something uncoiled. Oh! I realized. That <laughs> First death of the game. Can't push that. We can go. What do these coffee thermals do, anyways? Okay, I can go that way. But they make it so hard to see. I'm thinking like, oh, we can't cross this way. We can't. Uh, anything over here? See, I was gonna miss out on this. Cool. But when we get to the next checkpoint, I want to read those. So I'm pretty sure, my man. Weekend. Oh yeah, we good now. We got six batteries, 42 book. Play with me if you want to. 
play with me if you want to. Uh, oh, okay, right here. Yeah, we got those right there. Right here. Ooh, my man running now. They make you go through these things so fast. Okay. All right, so do we just jump up here? Yeah. Check for any batteries, any manuscripts, any bullets. We gonna need them all. Cause if it works how it was broken, I had to make my way up some other way. If it works how I think it works, um, the manuscripts are gonna pretty much give us clues on what's going on. Give me the ammo. Okay. Um. There was no power. There was bound to be a generator somewhere at the logging site. Imagine this whole time I managed to sleep. And it's all a dream. It was all a dream. Uh, nothing there. But I did see some arrows pointing. Okay. See y'all throwing stuff now. Y'all throwing stuff? <clears throat> Ooh! I forgot to dodge. Telling y'all, that mess is gonna get faster as we go. Um, okay. Let's go in here first. <gasps> we got a shoddy! We got a shoddy! Okay. <laughs> um, no ammo for it. Mmm, yeah. Okay. Someone tells me we want the. Can we, um. Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, cool. So we'll keep the revolver for now. We'll keep that revolver for now, because I'm like, we might need the shotgun for something else. now okay so it is directly behind us Okay, so now we just gotta find. Oh, nice. I'm pretty sure I'm missing some stuff in this area, but I think we got most of the stuff, which is good. Might have gotten everything. Oh, 
Okay, so we can do like a sprint jump thing. Okay, and I felt that miserably. Miserably. Um... Is that um yes Got that shotgun ammo anything else well I was just outside for a breath of fresh air and what a night I, I know most of you are probably in your beds by now but if you're still up and around take a moment step outside for a spell and breathe in the bro I'd rather be inside it's absolutely still the sky is crystal clear it's like the forest is quietly breathing along with My man lying to y'all. I'm a night owl, and it's on nights like this, and I wish I wasn't cooped up in the studio. Takes an old man like me. It's like a big grown wild. But well, here I am, man. I would keep you company all night long if I weren't. Uh, it looks like uh, I'm not the only one staying up late. Caller, you're on the air. Hey, Pat, it's Maurice. Hello, Maurice. What are you up to? Oh, isn't it beautiful out there? Probably a rabbit. Well, sure. Bro, weird. Maybe we need to put more light on them to see what they actually say. We got more flares. Okay, we got two flares. But we're gonna pick yeah, we're gonna put that out. Bring that out. Don't know what I'm saying. Why is the music getting intense like that? Matter of fact, let's read some of these now, since we have a couple. Um, so we've already got that one. The Taken stood before me. It was impossible to focus on it, as if it stood in a blind spot caused by a brain tumor and eye disease. It was bleeding shadows like ink underwater, like a cloud of blood from a shark bite. I was terrified. I squeezed the flashlight like my life depended on it, willing it to stop Suddenly something gave, and the light seemed to shine brighter. Okay. I heard them before I saw them, swooping down from the sky and screeching as they came. I spun around just as the cloud was upon me. For an instant, I stared into a hundred dead eyes. Black birds. These must be the birds. I raised the flashlight and the swarm exploded like fire. Feathers burned, turned into ash. I couldn't hear my scream above theirs. Yeah, so everything that we've been experiencing. First, I kept finding the pages as if by accident. The book I couldn't remember was either a terrible and true prophecy or an act of creation that had rewritten the world. I began to hunt the pages feverishly, for they held the answer to the mystery. With it, I could save myself. With it, I could save Alice. This is interesting. It's kind of like he's trapped in his own story. And I love like the Stephen King slash uh, Silent Hill element to this game. I'm invested. Rose knew she had been gushing, but right now she didn't care. As far as she was concerned, her brief meeting with Alan Wake was literally the high point of her life. Mm. She watched as he got in the car with his wife. She was pretty, confident, at ease with Wake. Not like Rose. They were perfect. She'd have given anything to be called their friend. Hmm. I told y'all it was weird. That man on the boat when we first got here, he was weird. Barry Wheeler was bouncing off the walls. He jumped on a plane after his calls were ignored by both Al and Alice for several days. It could
could mean that they were both on a second honeymoon. But Barry didn't buy it. Al had been way too unstable for that. Not sleeping. Messed up. Barry had years of experience dealing with Alan Wake, and he couldn't ignore it. Something was wrong. Something is wrong. We under attack. Departure by Alan Wake. Okay. So how many um, pages do we have in total? Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six unread um, pages. Okay. That's crazy. <clears throat> Imagine getting the trapped. The was closer now. It's light welcoming in the darkness. I don't like this. Oh! Oh! Oh, my man. They said double team. Made me go through so many bullets. He's playing with me. And I keep on forgetting how to dodge. All right, we gotta get out of here. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go, baby. We gotta go. Oh, my man's. My man. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Y'all didn't think I had that thing on me, huh? Y'all didn't think I had that thing on me. Okay, we safe here. Man, this man took out so much of my ammo. That's crazy. I'm pretty sure there was more um we might have a nerf flare here. We gotta be careful though. Go, 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 Oh my god, they're on my eyes. Oh. Get body. Get body. Yeah. And we got some more ammo. And batteries. Look at us. Look at this. TV's work? Oh, wait, what? Science. It bestows immortality on those who advance it to emulate all of mankind. Meanwhile, Einstein, Sagan, princes among the men. But the cause of such a legacy is steep indeed. Oh, we have two shotguns now. Let's 
given like X factors. I mean, not X factor, X file. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, I am Dr. Bartley Colvin, and I'm glad. Or like those old like mad scientist movies. He's not about to do what I think he's about to do. Oh, he about to do it. He about to do it. The mom, the mops, they looking pretty spiffy, huh, y'all? What are they trying to tell us? No circumstances can this gun kill me. So wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger, in another reality, you die? Yes, yes, of course, but that's completely trivial. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. Okay, the light looks like it's about to go out. What is going on? They should have left the crate unopened. The decay of Adam unobserved. Curiosity often kills the cat. I'm not gonna lie, they put like a little mini horror movie up inside of a game. That's kind of fire. Try to drop that thing on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. keep coming oh my god and I'm so anxious with this damn thing swinging why did it my mans are moving so f oh! oh bro they keep on tell I'm about to get off I'm I'm really about to get off this oh Oh! They closed me in. Oh, they're so shady for that. Oh!
Y'all, this is crazy. I didn't put everything I had into this man, and he's still. We gotta go. We gotta get on out of here. We gotta get on out. We gotta get. Oh, yeah. My man playing with us at this point. My man is playing with. Yeah, yeah. Bro, I ain't got no ammo. Oh. Okay. Run, 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 run. Running my man in a circle. You know, stun, take off. Okay, take off. There ain't no other power breaker. My man ain't playing no games. Bro, I bet this is how Tom was feeling the boondocks. Oh my god. Oh yeah. We working. Crazy. That was crazy. Oh my god. I did not think that we we're gonna survive that one. Um Yeah, we gotta reach the gas station now. Oh mm, are we going this? I be afraid to move sometimes. Cause I'm like, I'm gonna go one way and then it's gonna be like instant kill. So, I guess let's keep going this way. Cause this gate ain't open, huh? Oh, it is open now. Cool. recognized the parade float I had seen in Bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice. Yes, sir. I told you it was a setup from the start. After the insanity I had just experienced <clears throat> in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the same world reasserted itself. garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. It don't matter as long as we get some ammo. Oh! I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the store, there's only darkness. I can feel the presence in the dark. 
Just now, I could smell a curtain in the room. What is I'll going on? I'll bring her back. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe what is this. going it on? Me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? This game is crazy. Before we do that, let's look around. Sixtieth anniversary. Oh man, sixtieth, sixty, the sixty-eighth. <laughs> Lord of mercy, the sixty-eight annual deer, um, deer fest, September fifteenth to eighteenth. Game and activities for raffle tickets, fishing competition, pie contest, and surprise competition, live music for the children, Bucktooth Charlie. Is that where we getting um this killer? Bucktooth Charlie, afternoon and Mont oh Montgomery. Montgomery Brawl <laughs> Um <laughs> The Mystics Amazing Fant Phantasmagoria evenings. Don't miss the legendary Deerfest parade. Interesting. Okay, so let's just call 911. Use the phone. Great Ball Sheriff Station. Y'all was a setup. Like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen, we'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station. Okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have helped me with Alice. Absolutely. Smart thinking. That's crazy. I'm not gonna lie, that's a fire intro right there. That was fire. I actually enjoyed that one. I hope that y'all did too. Yeah, if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button. <sighs> Man, I was not expecting it to end like that. I wasn't even expecting um, Alice to go disappearing like in episode one, but it makes sense. You gotta kick it off that way. Oh man. It, I'm excited for number two now because if number two is anything like this one, but like with better graphics, better mechanics, and stuff like that, it's gonna be crazy. Previously on Alan Wake. Oh. I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming. I thought maybe you could lay here. I don't want to hear it. God. Yeah, we're gonna have to end it there. Hope you guys enjoyed Shinobu Squad. Thank you for the support. I appreciate y'all. Until next time, see y'all.